Well, hello everyone, and here I am with a LEGO Star Wars review, and this one is on the UCS port that was just released. And so on the front of the box here we see LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, and The Last Jedi border, and anything included with it, and set number or is 75230, made for ages 9 through 14, and set in has a hundred uh, or eight hundred eleven pieces. Flip to the back, just back view of it and the main feature of it and the idea of it. And yeah. And on to the booklet. Just on the front of the booklet, same pictures on the front and everything. On the back, how it went on the online survey. And then. All the pieces that are included with it. Advert Lego Life with Kylo Ren one and all the mini things included in the summer wave. And then add for the AT Hauler and Kaveix transport set and all the summer sets. And the last steps. So first of it. Is the only minifigure included with this is of uh, the minifig port. Well, same build, well, same exact build as it done the like, uh, was uh, oh, yeah, in two different sets that it was previously in the like Act 2 Island training set, which included only one, and then of what included too was the eight hundred dollar Millennium Falcon set, but this set is about like around seventy, which most people could afford. And of course, that was the uh, Act Two Island training was thirty, which most could afford. But what's different with this one is has a black tail piece, which I think the others had gray ones, and I could be wrong. Well. Well, maybe they probably are. What you also get is just like the UCS BB-8 set is a little plaque, which of course is a sticker, and a little thing to the side to put the mini on, like so. And if anyone's interested, definitely go ahead and pause and read this. The built just doll simplistic like other ones and yeah and now to the main port part of it is the large port itself see built pretty well see, like starting out with the feet you see they're built done pretty well like got some of the like edging pieces to act as the finning of it of which but the legs, I think, they, which should be a little bit longer, because on the film they looked a little long. But also, quite a ton of these, like a uh, sloping kind of pieces, and cheese slopes as well, and all. There's all of this build of which. Can definitely work for a penguin too. Like if you are to modify this as a penguin set, if you could then, or at least be, make a penguin like walk based on this one, then you can. But this was also quite before, and also the wings of which also work pretty well. Like get a ton of those like uh. Not sure if they're like clawed or rock pieces, not sure which. But also a ton of these kinds of pieces in this one. But on the back of which, as you see, there's a lot of that going on, along with a lot of cheese slopes. In dark gray and light gray, but the tail of which is in black, but in the court. And the other side, also the, the same. It on to the head, of which the I think the shaping of which is done pretty well. Like you see, like there's the large eyes that, of course, porks do usually have. 
and a lot of the, the like, the like, uh, edging kind of pieces around. And then from the top, back, forth, and all, with this like so. The, now to the main feature of which is you can turn, push this little thing here, and makes the mouth and wings flap up like so. But maybe perhaps they could have made the wings flap more upwards, but like that's all it can go up. But like really, like huh? Why not make it go up a little more? Because you know in the films they do move their wings all the way up. But I'm sure some of you mockers can figure that out, like how to do that, you know. And if you wonder how this will work, well, if you get it, then you'll ha really have to know. But also, like, some good uses of pieces is that, like, rounded uh, two one by 2 thing, along with a Exo Knight's shield piece, done quite well. And let's see. So like it next to the stand of it. Oh, and at the same time, just a sec on is compared to uh R2D2 from 2017. Well, I, the R2D2 one was about like a hundred, I think. Yeah, probably around a hundred. And it, of course, the portal, which has a little less pieces, which, you know, helps make it a little less expensive and all. And, of course, BB-8 did have a few more features to it. And then, yeah. And so now, on, whoops, on to the final verdict. So, overall verdict is... I think this is which pretty good set. Like a lot of good I think kinda of well captures the pores. Like as you can see, like good shaping, good use of pieces, everything. And so and if you're looking to like get plenty of get another porg for your collection, then go ahead and pick this up. And if you are a lar and if you want to get or if you want to get this to have next to your bb8 set or anything else in your lego star wars collection then go ahead and pick this up and that's it with this video please like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching